This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen, as the details roll in. Uh, let's go from here, friends. The Edmonton Oilers have finally gotten the pen to paper with Connor Brown, and Connor Brown has signed a $4 million deal with the Edmonton Oilers going into this upcoming season. Now, obviously, don't panic. It's not actually $4 million. All right, I got to brief you right there. Stop your panic. Slow down your roll, and let's just sit here and get the details in a matter of moments, friends. But at long last, we can confirm Connor Brown will be playing for the Edmonton Oilers. Whether you're in the camp how many games, or whether you're in the camp of yes, let's go, he will be with us for the upcoming season. So that is a huge get for our Edmonton Oilers. Let's quickly flip to the subscribe graphic if I can. If you're new to the channel, friends, please consider hitting that subscribe button here on Dolly TV. Love to have you along. Obviously, this is video number two of the day. We've already had news out on Lane Peterson. Appears to be doing well as we track the numbers early on, but... Let's quickly stop worrying about the subscribers and let's flip here. This, so oh my goodness, I love this new laptop. I tell you, it's a beauty. Um, Oilers were able to land Connor Brown using a unique structure coming off his ACL injury. This is something that I think back in March sometime, Patrick from the Oilers Fanatic had a fantastic lengthy little video kind of breaking down how this was all possible for the Edmonton Oilers and Please stay tuned for his video on Connor Brown as well. Coming up here shortly, I'm sure. If he doesn't actually beat me out, that would be the uh, only thing I could see happening as well here. It's a quick day on the old media side of things, but um, as it is, so Connor Brown coming off an ACL injury was on long-term and injury reserve pretty much all year. So what the Oilers are able to do here is sign him to a 775 cap hit, right? That's what we've talked about all week. That's what we've talked all month in June about is that Connor Brown will be at 775 plus a potential 3.25 million dollars in bonuses. Now you would say Tyson, well why don't you wait until you get the bonuses figured out and then tell me what the bonuses are and then we can have a full wrap on the whole thing and we can talk about it then. I will tell you friends, we just simply do not have time for that today because by the time that I get this video up, Drake Kajula's deal with the Edmonton Oilers that has been rumored all morning will likely be done and it'll be time to move on to Kajula's deal. So, as I'm just not even able to talk at this point, let me switch from teacup to water cup. The old famous uh, train water ball you remember from the playoffs there. But Connor Brown becomes an Edmonton Oiler. Reunites with good buddy Connor McDavid. That is, of course, the big driving factor here. Also noted on the Sportsnet broadcast, he's got history with Zach Hyman. So, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me backtrack that one a few sentences. He's also an ex-Toronto Maple Leaf. Okay, so the Edmonton Oilers go into the free agent frenzy with a couple of things up on the board here. Uh, Right-hand shot center to play top line in Bakersfield if needed. Check. Lane Peterson. Uh, Drake Kajula, depth winger in case of injury. Check. Done. Uh, still waiting confirmation. Connor Brown, top line, second line winger who is cheap, who has potential upside, and is best buddies with Connor McDavid. Oh, and by the way, former ex Toronto Maple Leaf. Check. Boom. Done. So it sounds like our shopping list is pretty much done here. Obviously, Connor Brown as well, a right hand shot kind of guy. So another guy that really impacts the Oilers. Line up the way you need it to Tyson Jost. Oh, he's off the board going to Buffalo. Didn't see that coming. Uh, let me see if I can pull up some Connor Brown stats for you here. I'll bring him up just as I did for Lane Peterson. A little bit quicker on this video than maybe on the other one earlier for Peterson. Simply because uh, we are in the situation we are in with this being a little bit more big time news for the uh, Edmonton Oilers and all involved. Connor Brown, 6'0", 181, and 29 years of age, a former sixth-round draft pick by the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let me just quickly snip this here, and we'll get this going, all right? This is kind of the new setup, too, that we're working with. It kind of gives me a weirder angle when we're looking at the camera and stuff, but I think, it, uh, I think it's been working well. You guys have been giving me some good feedback so far. So Connor Brown's stats, let's go there. Boom. Connor Brown's stats, perfect. And let's go here and quickly um, go in here and quickly get this going. So Connor Brown, an Edmonton Oiler now because of this deal with 
the Oilers. Let me move over here so as you can actually see the lips moving instead of just ventriloquism behind a graphic. And as we sit here, Connor Brown, a guy who way back in 15-16 had a pretty hot start to his career. 36 points, 28 points, 29 points, 43, 35, and 39, despite injuries slowing him down over the past few years in Ottawa. And then obviously the big one that took him right out of action in Washington this year. So Connor Brown signs a $4 million deal, but it's only $775 against the salary cap. Of course, the bonuses whatever they may be, right? I don't need to actually worry about the correct dollar figure here as long as it's confirmed that Connor Brown is an Edmonton Oiler because simply put, and Elliot Friedman confirmed it earlier today as well, is just the way you put it is the cap hits all that matters. The salary bonuses is what gets them here. And I'm not worried about what gets them here. I'm worried about how it allows us to continue making moves today. So as you look here, Connor Brown, a guy who's about a career Half point per game player, trust me, the glasses don't actually do anything for my vision other than keep my eyes focused. So when I'm a little far away and I can't read small letters, it's uh, not going to do me much good, that's for sure. But either way, um, you look at this, a former 20 goal scorer twice over, a guy who's had double digit points in both columns, right, goals and assists, all but one year in Toronto, all but one year in uh, the past four going into that year with Washington, obviously, where he only played four games. So Connor Brown, a safe bet. I like him. It's a great play. And obviously for the Oilers, too, you look at it, a guy who can typically play 20 minutes a night over the course of a couple of seasons in his career. So it, it really makes sense. There's really not much more to say on Connor Brown than already has been said is the toughest part here. We've been talking about Connor Brown. Heck, it was myself who guaranteed he will be an Oiler July 1st, more or less as clickbait in a thumbnail. But, man, I'd look goofy if I uh, did not uh, come through and give you this video today to say that it is officially happening and it is a done deal now between Connor Brown and the Edmonton Oilers. But I think just to summarize my thoughts on Connor Brown one last time, tremendous upside, perfect kind of situation to get a cheap player for tremendous upside and secondary for the Oilers, a former buddy of Connor McDavid, a guy who's more proven than perhaps a guy like Ty Ratty or a guy that we've tried before like Toby Reeder alongside Leon Dreisaitl. So there's a little bit more um, confidence, I guess you could say, in this move being made by the Oilers than previously done with guys like Ratty and, of course, Toby Reeder. Although I hope those days are long, long behind us. And if he does not pan out, he's on the, the LTIR all year, whatever the case might be, honestly does not hurt you one bit. You are fine and dandy. You're good to go and you can make it happen. So the Oilers for right now have signed Connor Brown to a one-year, I believe, right? One-year deal, something like that, at, um, well, a $4 million salary, but only a seven seventy-five dollars cap hit. Friends, I'm Tyson. This is Doll in the TV. Thank you so much for tuning in this afternoon. I need to keep getting the water into me. I've been struggling this morning, but I'll do it for uh, YouTube for you right there so as we know that it's at least getting done. And I will head back to watching the coverage, getting the news, and we will get back to you here shortly, hopefully with the Drake Kajula news. I'm Tyson Dolan, the TV up on Odie here.